Hi, I'm Susan Patterson. Have you ever heard of this famous quote, Life, Liberty, or Property? These quotes were written by a famous philosopher known as John Locke. John Locke was the father of liberation as well as the father of philosophy. He was known throughout the world as the Enlightenment thinker. John Locke was born on August 29, 1632 in Western England. That's where he was born and he continued to be raised there. His family was very popular in a nearby church, the Christ Church of Oxford, and that's where many of his influence of We Belong to Christ belongs to. After that, he attended a Westminster School and furthered his education at Oxford College, which was a medical school. He completed his classes, and once he got out, he was not quite sure exactly what career he wanted to go to. He searched and searched and still was lost in what career he should be in. He met up with a gentleman named Thomas Durham. This man was known for thinking and using your mind. It had helped John Locke with many of his theories that we study these days. One day, Thomas Durham came down with a really bad infection in his liver. John Locke was really put to the test since he didn't have much knowledge in medical, but he had a little bit of knowledge. He performed the surgery quite well, and Thomas Durham survived, and he continued to live on his day. John Locke was not quite impressed with the medical, and he continued to search. He met up with another gentleman named Staffburn, which was really big in politics. He was a member of the pol politician time, and he had, wore wigs and was extremely powerful, and he just helped. John Locke realized politicians were really big. John Locke learned many things from him as well, but he still wasn't quite satisfied with his knowledge. That's where he moved to the Netherlands and he, where his career really flew. He wrote many stories like the letters concerning tolerance, the reasonable of Christianity, and some thoughts concerning education. And during this time since in the Netherlands, he also came up with the natural law that we are very familiar with these days. The natural law meant that we have the right that are, we have the right of our labor, and our God has given us the knowledge to do these things while we are on the earth. In other words, God has given us a divine purpose. He spent his whole life coming up with his theories. He also came up with another one saying that we were all equal. We were all equal in God's, God's eyes, as well as we were not put here for because God wanted to put us here. We are here because we are here for a specific time period, and Heavenly Father has worked for us to do during this time period that we are on this earth. He spent each, many years. He didn't once he moved back to England. He continued to study and study these theories, and which we know him today. He's like the father of the Neurotheorism, which believes in God. John Locke was extremely, his theories were extremely towards God, saying we were put here by a purpose for God's reason, and that we need to follow him more often. He spent many years of this theory, and he studied it until he died. He passed away on the 28th of October, 1704. Sadly, he never married. He had a woman he had a liking for, but they never got married. So sadly, he never had any children to go through his legacy. He might be dead, but his name is known throughout the world and will continue to be known up for many generations. His, quote, life, liberty, and property were very famous to Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, and Thomas Jefferson. The life, liberty, and property helped influence Thomas Jefferson to write the Declaration of Independence that we celebrate every 4th of July, as well as James Madison, who wrote the Constitution. With these theories that we believe in God and we have a specific purpose on this earth, help our founding fathers to create this wonderful free nation that we live in today. Without John Locke, we would not have the greater knowledge of things we have today, or we wouldn't notice how much God is involved in our lives. And I really think John Locke did a great job with his research and everything that he's done to prove that 
we are not just here for some purpose we are here for an actual purpose